What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about one of the new things coming to uh, the Elder Scrolls Online with the Blackwood chapter. There's going to be a big help to console players and that is actually a new and improved ability timer tracker so we can actually track all our skills, actually see when they're on cooldown, you know, when they're off, uh, you know, being propped, that kind of thing. Of course, on PC, they have a add-on. I'm sure most people have seen PC players play where they have add-ons that actually show the timers on every single ability. Of course, that is action, duration, reminder. This is going to be added into the game, into the UI, as a thing that it's just built in. This is going to be actually on all platforms. So PC players will be able to use this as well. They won't have to use the action, duration, reminder uh, you know, add-on if they don't want to. But when it comes to console, of course, I play here on PS4. I know a lot of people out there play on Xbox. We all know that we never really had any option for any of this, uh, you know, up until a couple years ago where they added in, you know, a part in our UI that actually shows your timers for your buffs and your debuffs. And you can kind of see those right now above my health bar and kind of in the background in the video. Those timers are up for some abilities, but not all abilities actually have a timer on them. Some damage abilities don't show a timer. So a good example would be Wall of Elements, Elemental Blockade, depending, of course, you know, what kind of character you're on, whether it be, a, you know, a support character or a... Uh, DPS style character it has different time links and the issue with that is you cannot see the timer because it just doesn't have an option to see that here on console but coming with black the Blackwood chapter they're actually like I said going to be adding in the action duration reminder for console so you will be able to see a timer for every single single ability on the, in, or in the game so for example kind of how they've showed it off so far is if you're on the bar that I'm on right now for example let's say I put down wall of elements it will actually show the timer on top of that block counting down so if you have a, a ability that lasts 10 seconds you will see it counting down from 10 seconds if you see a ability that has 15 seconds you will see it counting down from 15 seconds and so on also what they're going to add into the ui is a ability about uh, the ability bar timer which of course is what i'm talking about and then the ability bar back row so you will have to have both of these switched on and what that ability bar back row will do is once you swap bars then you will still be able to see your timers or what, how much time you have left on those abilities on your opposite bar. So for example, once again, if I put down that wall of elements, you will see the timer ticking on this bar. But when I swap bars, you know, you're not going to be looking at this side. You're not going to be able to see that timer. So what it's going to do is place a little bar above uh, whatever, you know, uh, whatever slot I have that ability in. So for example, um, right here on PlayStation, I have that wall of elements and triangle. So when I swap bars above that green dragon blood, which is an on triangle, I would see a progression bar kind of ticking down. That way I would know when my wall of elements has gone away, when it has needs to be recast. This is going to be a game changer in my opinion on console. A lot of people have pretty much had to on console over the years just kind of figure out when these timers are running out for, you know, dummy parses, try to figure out how to get the best DPS out of their character without really knowing exactly all the timers in the game. Like I said, a few years ago when they added some of these buff timers in, it was a big help. But now the ability to see every single ability have a timer on it and actually be able to swap bars and still see how much time you have on your back bar or front bar or vice versa, whatever the case may be, before you need to go back and recast things is going to be a massive, massive change for console players. And like I said, they are also going to be adding this to PC so you can actually use this within the UI on PC and you don't have to use action duration reminder anymore if you don't want to. I think this is probably try to help some with lag and you know too many add-ons. They probably think they may be crashing the game or causing issues. So hopefully it will work well for PC players also. But here on console, I can't tell you how thankful I am to the Zoss team for adding something like this in. I've made several videos talking about this in the past, saying we need an advanced kind of uh, uh, you know ability stat or not really stat tracker, but kind of an advanced tracker for timers. Uh, and that's something we have needed for a long time. They added in the buffs a couple years ago, which was good. Now they're actually going to finish it up and add in something we can actually see timers for everything on either bar that we're on. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you uh, have notifications turned on so you know when everything goes live here on the channel. Check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website, along with the 5% discount code, is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.